what did we realize last night? I saw a lot of white smoke coming out of that tailpipe there. I'm not sure if my sister left the drain pan under. She did. You can probably see that oil there. Uh, the oil looks like chocolate milk. So needless to say, the head gasket on this puppy's blown. Um, so what we're gonna try for the first time ever is this Blue Devil head gasket sealer. Um, instructions are pretty straightforward. They want you to drain the system, remove the thermostat, flush it with water till it's clear, fill it back up with water, slowly add this head gasket sealer. Uh, depending on the capacity of your cooling system, depends on how much you add. In the case of this V10, it's like 6.8 gallons. So it's like a quart and a half, a little more. Um, so it'll be like one in a little more than a half of these bottles. You have to add it very slowly. Uh, so we're gonna give this a go and see how it works. Um, I've actually heard pretty good things online. I would have never ever trusted this ever, but uh, seeing as the fact they're supposed to leave in about six hours, it's our only shot. So I'm not getting this head off. And uh, otherwise, they're just gonna drive it and I hope it doesn't explode. So I'll let you know how this goes. All right, here we are. Uh, it was a long road, but we have got the entire system flushed. Uh, you can see all this water on the ground. Uh, it came, got it running pretty dang clear, man. Uh, in the process, destroyed the uh, thermostat that was in here. No big deal, replaced that. Uh, realized the upper hose was leaking. It wouldn't reseal, so I had to go pick up a new upper hose. But we're at the point, about to start adding in this uh, Blue Devil head gasket sealer and see how this puppy works, man. Engine's cold. Everything's sealed up. I'm gonna come in here. Start it up. Heater on. Heater's on max. All right. Let's give it a whirl. They want you to idle it for an hour. So we're gonna idle this puppy for an hour. I got an alarm set. We're gonna turn it off, we're gonna let it cool. And then I'm gonna throw in a new thermostat and uh, see what happens, man. Hopefully this actually works. I will be absolutely shocked if it does. But uh, who knows, man. They say guarantee on the bottle. I don't know what kind of magic stuff they got going on in there, but if it works, score. No matter what, though, this puppy's driving out the prom today, I think, so I'll let you know how it goes. All right, follow up on the limo. We're going to uh, check in, see how this head gasket sealer worked. It's been, oh, maybe two months now, three months since I did that, um, whenever my sister's prom was. So they took it to prom, obviously, I had the whole video on that. Uh, I think we've driven it twice since then. There's yet to be any more white smoke coming out of the tailpipe. Our coolant level hasn't budged a lick, man. Coolant hoses are all holding, no leaks there. Misfire, that was horrible in cylinder seven, is cleared up. Um, it's pretty damn steady, maintains temperature. So, what I'm gonna say about this is, uh, it seems that this Blue Devil head gasket sealer has done quite a good job, which is shocking to me. I had zero, zero hope this would work whenever we started this, but it seems to have done a pretty good job. 
That being said, I have seen the inside of an engine after you've run this stuff, and it is not clean. It is goopy and gross. I mean, goopy is a strong word. Uh, we, we did a 6.0 head. We had to pull ahead and do a head gasket on a 6.0, and the guy tried to run this stuff, um, and it failed. It didn't work for him. But, uh, yeah, it was just really crusty inside everywhere. Every water port, every water channel throughout the entire engine, anywhere coolant got had, like, a really crusty white layer to it, uh, which the only explanation is the, the blue devil, which makes sense. I mean, it's got to do something to seal it. But on the case of our limo, man, it seems to be holding strong. So uh, next up, we're going to go ahead and install an RV AC on this because the AC sucks. You can see here uh, we've piped in extra piping to try and get better flow to the back. Um, and yeah, the AC actually quit working all together, I believe, on the last journey. But we'll take a look on the inside here and see how it was set up. It was pretty ghetto to begin with. How many parts? All of the parts? Yeah, so you can see up there that the piping was just dumped through. We used to have to run all the way down this side. The original fence didn't blow worth a damn. So we just kind of re reorientated it, trying to cool it down in here. It's a black limo. It's really, really hot. So we're going to cut a hole right here. and We're going to put RV, RVAC in with a generator on a rack mount in the back. Make it icy cold in here.